awesome. So I'm are you gonna, gonna fill this all the way up to the top? No, it's gonna just... go almost to Got the it. Okay. almost to the top. Because you wanna have a little bit left in your cup to um, fill in, right? To, yeah, to get your corners. If you see when you when you start moving your canvas around and you start seeing you need... things that you don't want to then you at least you don't have to move it if you have that leftover paint you can just use that paint to cover the dry spots that and then you started are you repeating the pattern or you're mixing your colors now because you're going metallic to black no, I'm to still white doing a, my which stuff. it does right but those are the two i'm not going to put a lot in don't. this i'm going to go big love it had white before the brown. That'll give me some different colors. Of yeah, too. can't wait to see what's gonna create. It's just unbelievable. Here you go. There's your big layer. That's my big layer. What do I do? Black again? All right, that's going to be awesome. Though. Watch. Yeah, I think those two are going to look really cool Do together. a white. Yeah. I'm right with you. The tunes, too, are there. This is the side you poured into. Correct. So we want to go to the opposite side. Which I'm right hand to pour. That'll pour. make sense here in a second. Start your dot. And then you go. Oh my god, it looks cool already. to the side or you can just keep it all right in the middle. And then try not to drip. But we torch it and that brings it gets the air bubbles out. And sometimes you'll get the cells, you know, that everybody wants to get. You know it almost looks like a rose. finger in it. It's going to get covered up anyway. Gotcha. So we've already got it hanging off here. So I'm going to go um, towards this corner. you got to tell the paint where to go. Gotcha. But then it's going to tell you where it wants to go. <laughs> um, yeah. It's looking really cool though. See, I'm trying to keep it in a circular because um, once I get it off the edges then then I can start moving my ring back to the center once I get this covered here gotcha well that'll be interesting to see how you're gonna do that go yeah go here it goes This way. Oh, I see. You're just gonna until it falls back to where you want it to be. Okay. Now I'm just gonna move. My tap just came out. I want it more in the 
center. But I don't want to lose this black over I know, there. right? It's really cool. So I think I'm, you know what? That almost looks like yeah. an animal. I'm going to leave it. Yeah. Pull your patterns that are on the table from your drippings into, and just tap, don't wipe. Gotcha, yep. Let it drip. Oh, cool. It's abstract. I love the fact that it's just so funky and different and it. You're not gonna go to a store and buy that or see it anywhere. This is why I like to leave a little bit and cut. Oh yeah. There's another reason I like to wait to want everybody to wait and watch everybody, because you you learn something from everyone. I still do. When I see Absolutely. someone else paint, I okay. Is this a spot? Is there a spot? Oh, it's a bigger. <laughs> yeah, but that. Awesome. Oh, awesome. Kind of looks cool. That totally does. Getting some cells I in there. Like I like it. Yeah, right. I, I would. 